everyone, Ryan here from Athletic Fitness. Um, we're back for day two of the 90 day challenge. Um, hope you're all doing really well. I've spent about 24 hours since I last picked this camera up. Um, if you watch my previous video, you'd see the first workout I did, a couple of the meals that I was having for the diet aspect ended up getting 3.2 litres of water in yesterday um, long 60 minute walk uh, as my low intensity exercise didn't end up recording that, that was a bit after I'd put the camera down but yeah, day one went really well now into day two, it's just gone past midday, I think it's about one or two o'clock haven't really done too much today um, sort of still trying to sort of get my head around what the new national lockdown in the UK is going to mean for my business. And yeah, that sort of taken up a bit in the morning, also spent the morning chilling with the girlfriend, um, but decided it's time to pick you back up and record what's going on. And one of the things I want to chat about was really one of the hardest things with the starting of a diet, the starting of a program, can often be the first few days. In particular, day two, day three, day four. And the reason is day one, you're always super motivated. You're gonna go smash it, you're gonna sort your diet out, you're gonna exercise, you're gonna do all of these things. And then day two comes around and you might feel a little bit more fatigued because you've had such a productive first day and you think, ah, oh, well I was really good yesterday, I can take a day off. And that's where this program is really gonna try and nail in those good habits because you can't take a day off. Yes, you get two days off where you're not having to do a high intensity workout. Yes, there's one day where you don't necessarily have to go out for a low intensity exercise, so walking, yoga, etc. But every single day you need to be on point with calories and hydration especially the hydration. The calories you can sometimes slip a little bit because you can rein it back in over the week and that's again the point of it being weekly target. But you need to go out and you need to do it every single day where you can. And today, it's horrible weather. It's raining outside. Um, I've got quite a few things to do. But I still need to head out, need to go get some stuff. Um, I've got a new client starting this afternoon that I'm really excited to start with. but. I need to go over to my old flat and grab a couple of things. Um, but yeah, just want to say it will feel tough in the first couple of days. Um, you just need to get your head around it and say, I'm just going to do it. Because come day 20, 30, 40 of this program, if you really get through those first few days, that's going to make those days so much easier because you're going to think, well, I've done it before, I can do it again. And once you invest a lot more time, once you're past that second, third week, to give up, well, then you're giving up two, three weeks worth of effort and exercise and good eating, as opposed to right now, you might be thinking, I just give up now, it's just one day that I've lost out on. It was just one day where I did all that exercise, actually I'm not really sure if I wanna do it, but keep going. Um, like I say, it's harder at the start. You're gonna get up to sort of day seven, and then it might feel a little bit easier, then you might get two, three weeks in and you're like, oh, but just keep going, just keep going. Trust me, once you get to sort of your day 30s, your day 40s, it becomes so much easier you're gonna be able to start to include those small little treats because you're gonna understand your calories, you're gonna understand everything in regards to how hydrated you're feeling, how much food can you shift towards the end of the day. Oh, I've had a couple of really good days, maybe I can have a treat. Once you learn all of those things, it becomes so much easier. You just need to get through this first week. So with that being said, I have got a few things I need to do. Um, from now on, I'm probably going to be combining two days into one video. So today is Tuesday the 5th. Um, I'll also be probably including tomorrow's video in this. So there may be a little bit less. I might only be including one workout every um, 
two days of videos, but I'll still be working out every single day. And I'll try and post a bit more on social media regarding those. But just want to say, keep at it. I know you're gonna smash your goals. Just keep going with the program. It works, it really does. You just need to push through that first hard bit of a start. And especially with this lockdown that's now come in, I know it's only gonna help having something to distract you from potentially just sitting at home doing nothing, having a workout that you need to go do, having a walk that you need to go out and do, and being cold weather, that's only gonna really build that mental toughness as well. So. Once again, keep at it, and I'll speak to you in the next clip. Hey everyone, what's happening? Uh, coming towards the end of day two right now. Um, haven't really eaten too much today, so I'm about to go grab my dinner. The time is currently 10 past seven. I just finished with my client about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, yeah, went really well for a first session. Uh, fitness levels have some way to come, but he knows that and we're going to be putting a lot of work to get him where he needs to be. So positive first session for him. Um, but right now, all I'm thinking about is just getting a meal in as I'm so hungry. So. Let's go see what I've got on the menu tonight. Okay, so we are going with a few of these wraps here. Um, if we go in and have a look, see if I'm more successful at doing this today than I was yesterday. There we go. So per wrap we are looking at two and a half grams of fat, 31 grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. So, probably gonna have three of those, I reckon. Um, we've got our salads, so we've got some lettuce, we're gonna have some mushrooms on the side, some onion, we've got some low fat cheese. Won't always include cheese in fajitas, it's just because I have had not many calories in today, and I wanna try and get a little bit of my fats and protein up and then we have chicken as well so 600 grams there probably have about half of that as well and the wraps have the rest tomorrow and quickly before I end this day I just want to have a quick talk about the dinner that I've got on the menu and my choice of going pretty much fully natural ingredients. Um, the chicken obviously can be replaced out for corn chicken if you are wanting to follow more of a vegetarian vegan diet. Um, but I'd never use pre-made cooked chicken generally when dieting. Um, a lot of people say, oh I just don't have the time to be cooking and preparing and all this. That meal downstairs is probably going to take me 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how small I cut the chicken and how um, sort of well done I end up cooking it. The rest of the prep is done while that's cooking. It doesn't take too much longer, especially when you compare it to if you get like southern fried chicken bites that actually can sometimes take 20 odd minutes in the oven. It actually ends up quicker from a start to finish time. It's just the effort putting in. And actually the results you see from using fully natural ingredients are amazing within your diet. You'll generally feel more energetic and that's because you're getting a whole more range of vitamins, minerals in your diet from those whole foods, um, those nutrient dense foods. That's a word that you might have sometimes heard. Nutrient dense basically just means the food itself has a lot more nutritional value. Um, you can have two chicken breast ones, the southern fried pre-prepared and the other one could be just a normal chicken breast down there. That one down there has so much more nutritional value because um, it hasn't been processed in any way. So when you are looking to undergo these darts, I can understand you'll have lack of energy, you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to feel fatigued, you're working out every single day, um, you are going to feel tired, you're not going to feel like cooking, but one, 
in the long run, it's so much better for you. And two, even in the short term, once you get past the fact that you prep it and you cook it, it tastes so much better. Um, honestly, that's the thing that really gets me into the kitchen sometimes. And uh, I love, I do love cooking when I can be motivated to do it. But if I'm unmotivated, I just need to think, how good is this going to taste? So I just want to quickly hop on and say, if you are looking to start eating healthier, start with getting whole foods, nutrient dense foods. Um, there are lots of vegetarian and vegan options out there. I'm going to be starting to post a few recipes of meals and stuff that I'm preparing and eating through this diet. Um, they'll, as always, go on the Athletic Fitness Online Coaching Group page. So if you're wanting to get a hold of those, head to my Facebook page, Athletic Fitness, or one word, or type in at RS Athletic Fitness, and it's pinned at the top of the coaching group there, the Athletic Fitness Online Coaching Group. Anyway, I think this is me done for day two. I need to get in about another litre of water, maybe a little bit more. Uh, need to go have dinner. Done my walk, done a very short workout. Um, I might end up doing something a little small, maybe just trying out, say, 100 odd push ups or so, trying to break it down into five sets or something like that, keep the intensity high, just give myself a nice little stimulus at the end of the day, just to round up that out, as I don't feel like it was a massively high intensity workout earlier. Um, but yeah, I'm on track for day two. Just need to go and have dinner. Um, and with that being said, I'm still starving, so I'll leave it there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, what's happening? Ryan here, back with another voiceover for this workout. This is number six attempt on this voiceover as the sound file wants to keep failing on me. So fingers crossed, this is the one. For today's session, we have an EMOM. We started out with five clean and press on each hand, 10 total, superset in with 10 goblet squats. An EMOM is basically every minute on the minute. It means that when we hit the minute timer, we start the new set. We have to try and complete all the exercises within that minute and then whatever we have left is time that we can rest until the next set. So these were taking me about 40 seconds to complete, getting about 20 seconds rest, hit five sets in total, only showing two sets here because I figured five sets of this probably isn't the best viewing content for you guys, just seeing me do the same thing over and over again. But either way, it's a great exercise training principle for you to apply to any part of your workout, generally towards the start as it's gonna get you nice and warm. As you can see, I have the garage door closed for this workout. It was super cold yesterday. For the 6th of January, this is the only content that I ended up actually recording. I wanted to focus a lot more on my self-improvement time, my calories, my hydration, etc. So I didn't end up picking up the camera too much. It was mainly just this workout and then the clip at the end of the workout that you'll see. But I was still on target to complete the 90 day challenge fully successfully, complete week one fully successfully, haven't had any drawbacks yet. Hopefully you're doing the same. And with that, let's head into the next clip. Okay, so here we have the overhead shoulder press banded variation. Great for targeting those anterior deltoids. Um, it's going to keep a constant source of tension on those shoulders as we go through the full range of motion. More so at the top, obviously, as the bands are fully stretched, but we still have a nice uh, tension at the lower part of the movement too. We then superset this with lateral raises, so this is targeting in the outer part of our shoulders and also targeting a little bit of the anterior part as we're starting in front of our body. So again, two of my favorite shoulder exercises that you can utilize in any workout with bands or dumbbells. And then we 
decided to superset that in with some push-ups just to really burn out those triceps, went with that close grip to make sure that the shoulders could take enough of the load but the triceps would get that extra burn by taking the majority of that load as well. And then the final part of the workout was these here bicep curls, again the banded variation to ensure we get that constant tension on the bicep. As you can see, we're making sure we lock out at the bottom of the rep. This is going to ensure that we get a full range of motion and the biceps going to be working over time to really pull it up from that bottom position, especially with the tension created by the bands. For these bicep curls, we did sevens, which basically means seven from bottom to middle, seven from middle to top, and then as you can see here, seven full reps as well. A lot of people talk about not wanting to tense at the bottom of the motion, tense that tricep, ensuring we've got full range because they want to keep that tension on the bicep. Two good things you can do for that. One is, as you can see, use bands, creates tension throughout the whole range of the motion. But two, what we can also do is we can implement some force negatives that you'll see at the end, which is where we fight against gravity, as you can see, all the way down, never pull the band back up. Um, just fight the gravity all the way down to the bottom, then throw the weight back up to the top. Again, this can be done with dumbbells and you go for as many reps as you can until you can't do it any longer or until your garage light fails because you haven't moved enough. But anyway, that's the end of the voiceover. See you in the next clip. And the workout is done. Um, my arms, my shoulders, they're dead. That, uh, that five minute EMOM to start with, just got my blood completely going. Um, yeah, it was a good workout. Um, first time doing anything with those bands uh, towards the end up for actually quite a while. The last time I used them was actually probably in the first lockdown. Um, didn't have my weights with me then, so I had a lot more use of those. And I'll show you a few more workouts that I did using those in the coming weeks but either way good workout I haven't eaten today yet either that just made this workout so much harder but i know that if i did have eaten just before i probably wouldn't have got through that emom that was churning my stomach so yeah i'm happy with that workout um still early days with these home workouts i'm not a massive fan of them but in times of lockdown needs must and it's something we have to just get done so Happy with how went. About to go have a very late breakfast as it's probably about 11ish now. Um, and then I'll have a late-ish lunch as well. Um, having some more of that soup that I had the other day. That was so good. Um, going to find that recipe and post that into the group over the next couple of days. Um, strongly advise you making it very low calorie, very tasty. Chucking some pita breads for some extra carbs or some toast or something. Um, great lunch and um, maybe look at having some form of wrap as well uh, just so I can then chuck some stuff in for protein uh, but yeah that's gonna be my next couple of hours chill out for a bit then I've got a client again later on today already trained one today um, and then just a chill evening I think um, try and get my walk in later on as well potentially before my second client of the day um, but yeah things going well starting to struggle with the lesser calories already a few days in starting to feel it a little bit more especially in the cold weather as well but again if you persevere I know after a week or two it's not going to seem so hard so anyway with that I'm going to grab some food probably grab a protein shake as well um, to get that post-workout protein in and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit Thanks for watching guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video Just wanted to quickly say don't forget to like comment and subscribe Everything really helps me out with the algorithm if you can do all of that and Just say go make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram both athletic fitness or RS athletic fitness on Instagram I should say um, 
and also go join that free online coaching group on Facebook, Athletic Fitness Online Coaching Group. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. Peace.